clues this afternoon into the disappearance of a five-year-old Logan girl. Today, a traumatized community watched closely in a Logan courtroom. The main suspect, Alex Whipple, appears before the judge today. He's denied bail on unrelated charges. ABC 4's Andrew Reeser has been in Logan all day. And Andrew, what more have police been saying about Whipple's connection to his niece's disappearance? Well, Saray, police in Logan say DNA evidence that they found on Alex Whipple's person at the time of his arrest connects him to some sort of injury that he caused five-year-old Elizabeth Shelley, his niece. Now, ABC4 News is confirming today that this surveillance video taken just hours after she disappeared is video of Alex Whipple, the 21-year-old uncle of Elizabeth Shelley, walking alone just blocks from her house sometime after 6 a.m. the morning she disappeared. Now, the viewer who also sent us this video says Whipple's pants were soaked and just this afternoon, Whipple made his first appearance in court, his attorney arguing that he should get bail since he's being held on unrelated charges. But very upset people in this close-knit community, very glad that Whipple will remain behind bars. People are getting angry. They're, they're getting frustrated. And I can guarantee you that just about every father that I've talked to in this town has even volunteered to go to jail. So it's probably for the best he stays in there. The case is progressing. Um, we have strong evidence connecting Alex to Lizzie's disappearance. Now we do expect an update from Logan police sometime later today. So far, investigators have not found five-year-old Lizzie Shelley. And in these cases, as we all know, guys, time is so critical. Yeah, no doubt about that, Andrew. Um, when we go back to this DNA evidence, uh, obviously a big part of this case, have they really specified the nature of the DNA evidence that they have found? They did not. We asked specifically if it was blood or if there were any scratches on Alex Whipple's person. They did not go into specifics, but they did say DNA related items do connect him to some sort of injury that he allegedly caused this five-year-old child. They do believe that Lizzie Whipple is at least injured or hurt because of this. Uh, they were not willing to go on record to say whether or not she is alive yet. Back to you. Andrew, thank you. We are updating the story. Dave